So, hey guys, it's Bats here, and today we are finally back with another video. Alright, unfortunately, I'm not zooted to infinity and beyond right now, I'm actually quite sober, but hopefully you guys are, if you've got anything to get zooted on, you might want to do that right now. I know a lot of people like to smoke throughout the video, so, hey. Anyway, let's get into it. So, uh, today's story, we're talking about snorting, riddling, in the woods all right this is kind of it's kind of similar to that one story where i did hydros in the woods but uh not exactly um same woods different people uh basically well there's a few like people that were at, at in that story that are also here but not like you know they weren't like main characters but anyway let's just get into it <clears throat> so anyway this happened literally yesterday <laughs> so um yeah basically i i woke up super late um it was like right before lunch at my old school started basically if you don't know i there's like uh, i used to go to a high school that's relative like 20 minute walk away from where i live um and i still have a lot of friends that go there so you know if I wake up on time, I'll go over there during their lunch or after school or something to see my homies and see what's up with them, you know, smoke up with them, get zooted, whatever, you know? Um, so I was told in advance that there, that one of my homies was going to have Ritalin, and I was like, oh, big bets, because I ran out of weed that same day, and I was like, yeah, I got to get zooted tomorrow, so I was like, all right, let's go, and I got a vape the day before, which I'm super pissed off about, because it literally died after, like, two days and doesn't have a charging port, and... Mmm, man, that shit's, that shit's pissed, that shit pissed me off, man. But anyway, um... So, I, I get up, uh, I, the reason I woke up actually is because my cousin came home to get something real quick, I don't remember what, because I was like half asleep, I remember I woke up and looked at the clock, and I thought it said like 5.30, I completely read the clock wrong, I think I like read it backwards or something, I don't know, but, uh, anyway, so I get up, I get ready, and I head out, and so... You know, I actually had to, like, run a little bit, and it was also, like, it wasn't raining, but it was sprinkling, so it wasn't that bad. It could have been much worse, but, you know, still not great way to wake up. Um, so, you know, I run all the way down there. Nothing really interesting happens on the way there. Like, I'm just basically running <laughs> as fast as I can to get there. Um, and then I get there, and as I'm running down, I run into the group of kids that usually hangs out with uh, the guy who has the riddle in. And uh, so I, I, you know, I, I dap them up. I'm like, "Hey, what's up, boys?" Uh, and then they tell me that Noah, uh, that <laughs> they tell me that he's on acid. Uh, so it, I, that's. That's, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting that. He didn't tell me about that, but apparently he just, like, got them earlier that day and popped one. Um, so he's somewhere in the woods tripping balls at the moment. And so I head, I head out there with them. We head to the usual spot. We have, like, a little spot. It's like a two, like, fallen over trees, and then there's, like, a tree that's still up that has, like, a rope tied around it. Um... And so, we get there, there's a few other people there, and for some reason, it's so funny, every time that I, like, get there, um, like, and, you know, like, people notice that I'm there, it's really funny, cause, uh, like, <laughs> so my name is John, so, uh, I don't really care about saying that, like, who cares, but basically, every time I get there, and people notice me, I just, like, it just looks like an eruption, it's just like, oh, shit, it's John, because I'm like, I'm like a crackhead legend there, all right, I did the most fucking batshit insane, ridiculous shit when I went to that school, and everybody knows, um, so, everybody daps me up, I'm like, hey, what's up, I see my homie, and I'm like, hey, man, you got that riddle, and I'm trying to snort some of that shit, baby, and so, you know, he, he takes one out, and he starts crushing it up. I can't remember exactly how he did it, but I, it was really scuffed. I, I, I forgot to bring my drug wallet, which is basically my wallet has all of the materials that you would need to do any powder drug in it, basically, besides, like, a straw. Um, but usually I carry that in, like, a different thing. Uh, so, you know, usually I have the materials on me to do any, you know, most types of substances, but for, I woke up late, so I did not come prepared. Luckily, there was other people there, I just knocked something over, uh, there was other people there who had supplies that we needed, 
So he crushes up this Ritalin for me, and it's actually like a pretty, you know, decent fat wine. And so he hands me the dollar, it's all chopped up, and I fucking go for it, alright? I, I, I rail that shit, and honestly, it was very surprising, because it's, like, most things that you snort, like, they kind of burn, or, like, have a strong, like, kind of aftertaste or something, but this went down relatively smooth. I mean, yeah, sure, it gets, some of it gets a little stuck, but that happens when you put any powder in your nose, but it didn't burn, really. It had, like, a very light aftertaste that I, you know, didn't really notice, and honestly, it's one of the few stimulants that I like. If you guys know anything about me, I don't really like stimulants, I, especially like Adderall and meth. I fucking hate both of those, because they just make me tweak out. But actually, Coke and uh, Ritalin, in my limited experience with them, uh, has actually been stimulants that I can tolerate, as long as I have, like, weed or, like, some other, you know, downer or something. Uh, then it's pretty fun. But, uh, yeah, I, I just don't like doing stimulants on their own. They, it, it's just, like, I just, I don't know, I, it just doesn't appeal to me. Like, I don't really get, like, super strong euphoria. Uh, it's not, like, you know, I don't know. It's just not not for me, man, for the most part. But I, I did it anyway, because, you know, you've got to stay zooted. And, you know, if you got drugs in front of you, man, who says, like, I'm not going to say no. Like, the fuck? Free drugs? Hell yeah. I don't care what it is. Um, but anyway, so, yeah. I snort this first, this first pill. It's a 10 milligram um, and it, it's really funny, I, I looked at the pill, and it has the M on it, like, you know how, like, Perks and Oxys have the M on it, I was like, hey, yo, wait a second, <laughs> but anyway, so I snort this shit, and while I'm doing that, one of my other homies is packing up a bowl, he brought some pack, he got the gas, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, so, I, I, you know, I sit down, I start smacking my vape, um, and it's Saltnik, too, so that shit hurts. Um, I really don't like Saltnik. <laughs> but, anyway, uh, so he packs up this bowl, he takes a, he takes a little, a nice little hit, passes it along to me, and we're all chillin', the whole group is vibin', we're just talking about random shit, um, and at some point, we started talking about, well, I started talking about 18th century warfare. I, I have basically, in the last few months, I've gotten really into history. I'll just sit here, get really high, and watch history videos for hours. It's actually really entertaining. The way that school teaches history fucking sucks, because it just makes it super boring. But if you actually, like, you know, if you watch some history YouTube videos, that shit's actually pretty cool. Um... But, you know, so I start talking about 18th century warfare, and luckily I have the type of friends that won't just, like, start clowning on me for saying that shit. We can actually have, like, a serious conversation about that shit. So, you know, we started talking about a lot of things, uh, you know, in relation to that. Uh, I can't remember the whole conversation now, but I, I, I remember, like I, like, I started it by saying, like, you know, I thought modern war was scary, but Jesus Christ, as I've looked into it, I've realized that 18th century warfare is much scarier. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, you know, we're talking, we're bullshitting, um, I remember at one point, uh, we started playing, like, uh, like, uh, you know, like, uh, sea shanty military songs, uh, well, after we were talking about that, it was really funny, there's a good one called Crew of Wars by Dreadnought, I recommend you all listen to that, it's actually really good, um, it's not my typical type of music, but it's, it's, it, it surprised me, anyway, so, you know, at some point, uh, my homie with the Ritalin, he's like, hey, bro, Actually, I think I asked him. I was like, hey, man, can I get another one of those? And he's like, yeah, for sure. And so, you know, he slides me another one. This time I crush it up myself. And I was having a little bit of trouble, so I had to use my vape to crush it up. And unfortunately, some of the powder got stuck in the little indents at the bottom, which, you know, that was pretty annoying, trying to scoop that shit out. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, I rail this other line, and... You know, I'm feeling good. We keep smoking. This guy literally smoked all the weed that he had in the in one sitting. And, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm not fucking, you know, that's free weed. Um, but, yeah, you know, we were all just sitting around. We're chilling. And there's this one uh, fucking uh, tree, one of the trees that's at this spot. And it's, like, not completely fallen over. It's, like, kind of, like, hanging in the air. So if you, like, sit on it, if a couple people sit on it, and you're, like, sitting on the very end, it's, like, a fucking, like, it's, like, a... 
what are the teeter totter? It's kind of like that. And so I sit on that, and my other like taller homie sits on the other end, and he starts like you know bringing it up and down, and I'm like, what the fuck? Cause like you know I'm you know fucking zooted on you know stimulants. And now I'm just, like, flying through the air about to fly off this fucking log. Felt like a roller coaster, honestly. That shit was fun, but I kept, like, he kept going too far down into the ground, so my legs would just keep, like, hitting the ground kind of hard. And I was like, okay, this is gonna fucking break my leg. I gotta stop. So, I hop off. We continue chilling. We're talking about other random shit. And it gets to the point where lunch is starting to end. So, most people are going back, you know, to class or to get late passes or whatever. And a few people stay, um, you know, and so we're all chilling. We're talking. Um, one of the kids was Irish, and so we were, you know, me and him started talking about Irish history and shit like that, and, uh, it was an interesting conversation. Uh, I can't, it's really hard to remember everything that we, like, did, but it it was, it was just a really chill time, you know, just chilling with the homies, getting fucked up, but this is where, oh my god, I keep dropping shit, alright, but this is where it starts to get kind of interesting, right? So, the, the homie that gave me the Ritalin, he goes back, and, you know, he's on acid, right? So he goes back to class, and everything's normal, and then all of a sudden, one of the kids that stayed in the woods to hang out, he gets a call from another kid, and he's like, yo, there's a fucking fire drill right now, and then all of us collectively realize, oh shit, he's in there tripping balls on a fi- with a fire alarm blasting in his ears, and so... We're all like, you know, oh, fuck, I hope dude's okay. And then he just, like, shows up. He just, like, comes out of the fucking, out of the bushes, out of the woods, like a, like, you know, like a gorilla soldier or something. And fucking, he's just like, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> he's just like, what the fuck was that? And I was like, damn, bro, you okay? He's like, yeah, I was just chilling in my class. Everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, it's just, bah, bah. <laughs> And so he was just like, he was like, fuck this shit, man. He literally just, like, told the teacher, like, nah, I'm going home, bro. <laughs> he just left. Um, anyway, <laughs> but, so now he's back, and, you know, we're, we're chilling, um, and we continue smoking, we continue, you know, doing our, doing our thing, uh, we discussed a couple of plans for the future, you know, you know, just, you know, little adventures, you know, where we're gonna combine some money and get some, get pretty big zooted this summer, so those will probably be some stories that I'll tell later on, uh, maybe at some point I'll give them names, I've just been too lazy to give names, (laughs) like, for a little bit, it's just, it's too much on my brain, (laughs) but anyway, um, so, we basically just chilled that in the woods until, uh, school was about to end, everybody, you know, kind of starts heading back, um, but me and the guy who gave me the Adderall, we were just, we stayed there for a little bit, because school wasn't completely out yet, and he gave me a, another, another, uh, Ritalin for the road, which, bless that man, can't believe he gave me three Ritalins for free, what a fucking legend, um, but anyway... And so, you know, we, we ended up, we're both really high, so we lost track of time and waited too long, uh, which was unfortunate. Uh, so we missed most of the people that, you know, we know that would be there. Um, so he, me and him just started, you know, walking, and uh, we were going in kind of the same direction. We were just talking about some shit um, that I can't really remember, but it was a, it was a good conversation, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, then I went home. Uh, I got home, and my cousin was home from work, um, but he instantly left to go, I think he went to go buy cigarettes, um, but, you know, he leaves, and so I'm sitting there, I mean, he, it, it didn't matter if he was there or not, because I was gonna do it anyway, uh, but, so I, I go in, I, I, you know, open the computer, and I fucking, I get this, I, I actually, it's really funny, I, I use a Narcotics Anonymous book to snort a lot of my drugs on, which is, I think it's really funny that that's what I use, um, but, so, yeah, so I snort, I snort this last Ritalin off of that, and then the rest of the night, like, not much really happened, I was just kind of chilling, enjoying my high, watching YouTube videos and shit, um, just, you know, doing chores around the house, it, it wasn't a very eventful day, but, you know, honestly, it wasn't as bad as most of my other stimulant experiences, and honestly, I would do it again, um, so, yeah, 
without any further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these kinds of videos and you want to see more of that, then, you know, show support. You could leave a like, you could comment, subscribe, all that. I try to read and respond to as many comments as I can. Um, we have a Discord server in the description that you can join. Um... And uh, if you want to talk to me or play games with me, uh, there's a lot of different platforms that I, I have down there that you can add me on. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Without any further ado, stay zooted, stay lifted. Peace. She said I'm a prick, I ain't give a shit. Walking in a fun shit, right on my head. They gon' say that I switch, that I fucking miss. I know it's been a few summers, it's a fucking piss. I'm laughing to get that, get back. 22 shots, nigga, I kick back. I cannot be scared of your bitch ass. Every time you look inside of me, that's where a bitch ass. Talk about the times you did me wrong, that's where the list